Our team coverage is continuing now with 24-Hour News 8's Mark Thompson. Mark is live in Detroit as well. A much different scene, though, behind him. Verge Bernero conceded that race a little more than an hour ago. And Mark, is there anyone left? Uh, Brian, barely. Things are definitely wrapping up here at the MGM Grand and Casino here in downtown Detroit. Democrats obviously very disappointed, but they're trying to hold their heads high even after losing several key races tonight, including Attorney General, Secretary of State, and of course, uh, Governor of the state of Michigan, Verge Bonero, uh, did not speak to reporters after he gave his concession speech. But here's a little bit of what he had to say after calling uh, Republican Rick Snyder and wishing him well as the next governor of the state of Michigan. When we started together 10 months ago, <clears throat> not many in the political establishment thought we would ever make it this far. We were told there was no way we would win the primary against an opponent with more money and more political clout. But we shocked them all. We staged an incredible come from behind landslide win that proved the pollsters and the prognosticators wrong. And uh, Bonero says that he's got three years left as the mayor of Lansing and he will continue to work in that role. He also says that he will work with the uh, Republican uh, Rick Snyder uh, as he becomes the next governor of the state of Michigan. But he also says that he's going to be keeping an eye to make sure that he governs from the middle as promised. Uh, if not, he says that uh, the public should ask for changes. He also makes another key point. He says that Democrats should not cheer for failure for the Republican Party or for Rick Snyder. He says that they should continue to try and work hard to, be, uh, to make Michigan the very best state that it can be. We're reporting live from Detroit tonight. Mark Thompson, 24-Hour News 8.